must have been just after my 21st birthday. I had just started working in radio and... Uh, God, I can't even explain to you what that's like. That's like hitting employment gold where I'm from. Being a small town boy working for the radio station that you grew up listening to. Hey, Kim and Dave, love you. Anyway, so I'd started working with some people in media, I started working in radio and they... They were very open and very accepting of everyone and I think this was the point that I found a tribe of people who I knew were going to accept me for who I was and it was probably one of the first times ever I really felt like I could just be me. Because uh, don't get me wrong, I, you know, had been thinking about this for a really long time and I had thought to myself, is this something that will just go away? Is it something that is kind of going to go away with time and I'll be like everyone else? And I kind of got to that point where I was beginning to accept it and I feel like by meeting those people at that point in my life, I really, I know, it just helped me confirm that I was going to be alright and it really was no big deal that that's who I was. I guess that's probably how they made me feel. They made me feel like it was no big deal. If, if that's who you were, Jazzy, then who cares? So by this point I had met a few gay people and I'm going to be absolutely honest with you, they scared the hell out of me. And the funny thing is, is that now when I say meet a celebrity and they may not be out of the closet, um, they have the same behaviour traits that I had back when I was still dealing with my sexuality and they tend to get a little bit frightened of you, they're nervous because you know that, that, that they know that you know, they know that, wait, so they know that you know and you know that they know that you know, but anyway, um, I have met a few people like that since and it is kind of funny to see them behave like that because they will close up straight away and not want to speak to me, not want to have anything to do with me, or they'll just keep it really business because they know that if they do that, we can't venture into personal territory and we can't talk about things that I don't want to talk about. Since then, I have met a few guys as well who have decided to stay in the closet, and while there's no judgment on them, that's their decision. It kind of does make me a little bit sad to think that they can't live the lives that they want to live, and also it makes me reflect on that point when I was, you know, at that stage in my life, but. <laughs> Let's be honest, I mean, as if you can keep all of this in a closet. Okay, so who did I tell? Just a sec. Okay, so who did I tell? Well, funny story, I actually told my mum and my sister and it was a bit of a dramatic day. My mum and my sister had had some drama and they were having a discussion about it at my house. And you know, things were very heated and very emotional and I kind of feel like maybe we got to a point where they were okay and they were, you know, kind of making up and stuff like that and good old me just had to swing the limelight back on myself just for a couple of minutes and I remember saying to them, I have something to tell you, I'm gay. And my little sister was like, I knew it. And that was probably the best reaction she could have ever given me. Um, you know, my mom was like, are you sure? Like, you know, have you thought about it? And I'm like, yes, mom, I've thought about it a lot. And it kind of felt like it was the right moment. It, probably wasn't the right moment looking back on it and I laugh about it now and we're all best friends and it's, you know, it's all good but it just kind of snowballed from there I think and I sort of slowly told people shortly after that that I surprised to a few of them was a gay man. Actually I lie, I told my best friend I was gay and she went and that was a pretty good reaction too. Okay so did it change me? 
Yes and no. I'm going to say yes in the sense that of course it did. It was one of the biggest things in my life at the time. It was something that I'd worried about for a long time. What were people going to say when I told them? I felt incredibly relieved when I finally told people and they could know. But I'm also going to say no, it didn't as well because while I felt like I was going to be a completely different person on the other side of it, I actually was still just me. It, I was still, you know, regular, normal me on the other side of coming out. So, in that sense, it didn't really change me. <sighs> Friday lunchtime wake up. It's cruel. This is Cruelty. a man doing it to me. <laughs> oh, we're not even finished yet. So do I regret anything? Maybe... Maybe one thing. I wish I'd done it sooner. I feel like 21 was probably a little bit late. I feel like I was ready, but in saying that, I guess a few things had to fall into place to make it the perfect timing. But looking back at it now, we would have done it sooner. Okay, so what's the best bit? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, the best bit is this. And I don't mean Oxford Street in the sense of the location so much, I mean what it stands for. This is a place where I have made some of the best decisions of my life, some of the worst decisions of my life. It's where I've built my little gay family and it stands for such an important part of my life and I cannot encourage you enough to surround yourself with the right kind of people. And I guess finally, I love being gay. <laughs> That sounds so weird to say. I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change how I came out. I wouldn't change the horrendous things people have said to me, the homophobic things people have said to me. I wouldn't change any of the best moments I've ever made as a gay man because it's brought me to this point and it has made me as tough as I could possibly be. And all I can say to those people out there that are thinking of coming out is not only is the grass greener on the other side, it also tastes like apples. Exciting things have been happening. Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. It's Thank you so much. How, tell us how romantic mm. it was. It was super romantic. It was yeah. a surprise. Mm. a surprise. Bye. I had no idea. <laughs> is anyone Bye. else married otherwise? Or? I'm married. No, I'm just kidding. I'm very, very single. Single as ever. Oh, <laughs> just like last time. Footloose and fancy free. Yeah. That's what we like to call it.